The painting is a good comparison of indoor still life with outdoor scenery, and a good material for understanding light. The white flowers on the right side of the vase are the original effect when light comes indoors. Since the light is relatively bright and stable, the details of the object can be clearly seen. The white flowers in the middle are not clear, as they are at the back. The background of the white flowers on the left is the light outside, so they are not clear at all. Is there a clear line distinguishing realism and impressionism? The more you paint outside outdoors, the boundary fades. I think the original French impressionists are actually quite realistic, faithfully reflecting the scenes that appear in reality. In the past, I saw a painting of the Notre Dame de Paris. I disliked it, as I found it blurred and unreal. But once, I went to see Notre Dame myself early in the morning. I saw that. In the frog, the scenery was really like that. Then I understood. As I couldn't see these scenes in Hong Kong, I thought they were not good at painting, or thought that impression painting style was like that. In fact, they really saw these things in the local area. They were actually doing realism. The red flower. In the middle of the painting is clear, but the lower red one on the left is closer to the light. Its beauty is beyond words. The saxophone is placed on a black cloth. We can see a lot of details, but it is slightly rigid. I put a piece of red cloth next to it. The patch of bright orange red reflection. On the golden saxophone, made it more lively. Imagine if the outside scenery is not included. This is a normal still life painting. The corner was added to eliminate the feeling of enclosure. Natural light is magical and makes things more beautiful. So I call this painting enlightenment.